Mike Green, isn't that right? Yes, thanks. Hi, I'm Captain Wiley Brown. I'm the uh, maintenance officer for Jackson Fire and Emergency Services. Uh, we repair and maintain over 20 frontline vehicles uh, for emergency response purposes. Uh, today's story time is going to be brought to you by firefighter Kaylee Green. Uh, please like us on Facebook and tune in. Uh, from here on out, we're going to go to monthly episodes, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Kaylee Green with Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services. I've been with Jacksonville for six months and I'm the rookie. As a rookie, I have to um, follow my leaders and my captains and just see how they do and run things on a day-to-day -day and uh, just learn as much as I can. The six months that I've been with them, I've learned a lot more than I have at, in a fire academy and I'm in EMT right now, almost about to be done with it and pretty excited to start that as well. Today we're out in the waters on the rescue boat going to read uh, The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Fischter. A long way out in the deep blue sea there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they called. Come on and play with us. The Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful and ha you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset and he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one wanted to play with the rainbow fish. They turned away from him when, they, when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales when no one admired them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful, why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes ca uh, caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, said the rainbow fish, but the octopus had already disappeared into the dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shiny scales? Never, how could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The light blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wandered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue fin. A rather peculiar feeling come over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth while his new scale glittered in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shiny scale left. His most prized possessions had be, been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happily as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. So I chose this book 
because it was very personal to me. I remember this when I was a kid and it taught me how to be kind to other people, just like the rainbow fish. Uh, during these hard times with the coronavirus, uh, be sure that you choose kindness always. And everybody have a good weekend and we'll see you next month for story time.